So things are returning back to normal behaviour wise at home now. Zeus has calmed down back to his normal snuggly wuggly self. Um, I mean he calmed down pretty quickly to be honest which is a, a tentative good sign, fingers crossed, um, that Bella stopped smelling so nice so quickly. You playing with the ice silly boy. It's Fozzie. Yes. Um, Bella's much more sleepy and tired now. She's uh, wanting to snuggle up a lot more. She's still having the odd play with Millie but she's nowhere near as into it as she was, much to Millie's disgust. And she's a bit less tolerant of Millie's silly antics now and what's going to happen with having hopefully some, some actual little baby puppies in the house um, is unfortunately Millie's going to lose what I like to call her puppy privilege. Millie is, is the baby of the household. She She's still only a year, you know, just a year old really. And um, so she's been able to get away with a lot of behaviors with the adult dogs because of her young age and because of her puppy status. And that is unfortunately gonna change um, if we get actual little baby puppies on the ground um, because she's gonna have to grow up. She's gonna be, have to become the, the helpful auntie that teaches the puppies, probably all of the naughty things, but hey, <laughs> she's a cheeky monkey. And, um, and she's gonna lose all of the privileges that she's had with the adult dogs. It means they're gonna become less tolerant of her silly behavior. Um, and she's gonna have to start acting a bit more like a grown up dog. And um, that's gonna be hard for Millie. Um, and she's gonna probably get herself told off a few times, but we have to keep an eye on it and manage it to make sure nobody takes it too far. Um, because within a group of dogs, um, although I hate the whole pack leader alpha rubbish, there is a group dynamic um you know there are relationships between the dogs they do understand their different positions within that group it's not so much sort of leaders and things like that but you have you know younger dogs and older dogs and and the, the way they interact with each other is is different um they they kind of act like a family unit um, so much in like a human family when the, the youngest one suddenly gets a new baby brother or sister they have to grow up a bit faster um, and take on a bit of responsibility and that's what's going to happen with Millie now um, she's going to have to grow up and teach the youngsters the little babies little bits about being what it's like to be a doggo basically um, all the things she gets up to and sniffing and playing and I'm hoping she's going to be a really nice teacher for them. Millie's very gentle. She comes with me to my puppy classes a lot and she's wonderful with all the little babies there. Um, so fingers crossed she'll be the same with our little ones. But we'll just have to wait and see. But there's going to be a lot of changes to our, our family dynamic with the dogs as this uh, little journey goes on. And I'm hoping it's going to be a nice learning experience for Millie as well. She's going to get to see what it's like to be a mom, what it takes to... Uh, to raise the babies and look after them and, and that's obviously going to be a fantastic learning experience for her when she eventually goes on to have her own puppies hopefully. It's unfortunately something Bella missed out on. Um, she was going to hopefully see the litter um, that Tokyo was going to have when we took her over to Germany to see Nando but it didn't happen unfortunately so Bella missed out on that learning experience which is a shame but Bella I'm hoping is going to be a fantastic mom and uh, we'll be there to help every step of the way and go through everything so she's gonna I think she'll be a good mama hey boy and you're gonna be a happy goofy uncle won't you yes you good boy but yeah so we'll see see how things play out and uh, we'll probably talk more about the changes as and when they happen when the puppies are here and uh, and you'll be able to see Millie grow up a little bit go from being a, a puppy to maybe a bit of a a teenage sort of young adult hopefully in her behavior come on goof boy let's go sissy come on let's go come on sniffy boy <laughs> smiley let's go come on gorgeous <laughs>